This is Dan Labosca with Variable, and we are going to take a quick dive into the Variable platform to help you better understand how technology can streamline your operations workforce contingency planning initiatives and minimize the impact from COVID-19. Some of the key benefits of the Variable platform are as follows. Real-time access to thousands of skilled manufacturing and distribution professionals in the greater Atlanta area. The ability to source labor in under two hours flat to your plant or distribution center, and the ability to build a custom pool of contractors that you choose to bring back as demand fluctuates. Now, the biggest use of our, of our platform these days is same day, last minute coverage for no shows and call outs, um, allowing our business users to never take a hit to productivity. Using the variable platform to your advantage you are able to plan and execute labor on an hour-to-hour, day-to-day basis without having to ever worry about the quality or overall training aspects um, that you would under other circumstances. Now, this gives your business an unprecedented level of operational flexibility to get you through the toughest of times. Now, real quick, we are going to hop into the business portal and show you the real-time responsiveness of our platform by posting out what we call an op. Um, so once you're logged into the platform, all you really need to do is click on post ops in the top right corner. Um, in this case, we already have a template saved um, for our use. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. All right, now that's loaded, I'll go ahead and click draft. And basically what this is, as I mentioned, is just a template um, to really just help businesses reduce time um, and the redundancy and having to input the same information over and over again. Um, so here we would just fill out some of the basic information about work needed to be performed. So we have assembly operator under title. We have the ability to choose the skill set, whether it's warehousing, assembly, forklift, driving, welding, test inspection, so on and so forth. We're going to go with assembly um, for this. Now under here, we would just put a detailed description of the work to be performed um, that mentions any sort of PPE or other requirements specific to the operator that will be coming in to your operations. Once that's done, we click next. We can choose the duration, whether it's a single day or multi-day. Um, input the start date. We'll go ahead and just set this for tomorrow. We'll say 8 a.m. is a pretty standard start time. We have the ability to plug in a paid or unpaid break into it. So we'll go with the 30-minute unpaid. Moving forward, how many operators do we need in total? We could say one, two. Let's go ahead and just put five up. And the total amount for the work to be completed. So we'll go with a base wage rate of $12.50 over eight hours, which puts you at a hundred even a day flat. We do have the ability to separate out different locations if you have multiple sites within one area. Um, we can even build in separate work areas in your operations, whether it's just general shipping and receiving, um, so on and so forth. And we'll go ahead and put in our, our rally point here. We'll say front lobby, check in at visitor sign in. And we do have some other features on here that are interesting. Uh, we have an autofill feature, which automatically plugs operators into the op for you based on an algorithm. And the YLP only feature, and this is useful in conjunction with autofill once you have a labor pool built out um, based on your demand. So if you were to get to the point where you knew at your peak demand you might need, say, 10 or 20 operators, we recommend that our, that our business users have roughly three to four times that uh, in their labor pool to tap into to make sure that they always have coverage when needed. And so if you get to that point where you build your labor pool out where it's three or four X, your expected peak demand, um, you could just literally click this YLP only and click on autofill and anything that's posted out is posted only to workers 
that you know and trust that are in your personalized labor pool. And it goes ahead and automatically fills that out for you. So it's really just at that point, set it and forget it. And once all that's complete, you get a view of what this looks like in our mobile application. And this is what the operators will see when they're putting in a, a bid for availability to work on the app that's posted out. And that's it. Hit submit and you're ready to go. Now, just a moment ago, for the demo, I posted out an op. It's roughly 10 minutes or so ago, so we'll go ahead and check this out. If we click on our ops section, it'll show all ops that are open that need to be completed and filled out. So this one, within a matter of 10 minutes, has 78 bids from the open market. Um, you can kind of click into that to see what that looks like. Once this is fully loaded. Okay, so on this main op detail screen, you can see a list of all the operators that have worked on our platform, or maybe their new operators, um, with a complete profile or a digital resume of sorts that sort of outlines their, their entire work on the platform with a rating system um, based on past performance. So we'll go ahead and click into, let's see, who do we got? Got a lot of bids, a lot of rated operators on here. Well, let's go ahead and choose, let's say, Brandon Nichols. He's got 70 ops. So let's go ahead and take a look at what he's done on the variable platform so far. All right. So when you click into this, you can see an overview of their profile. He's located out in Forest Park, Georgia. He's done 70 ops in the platform. Um, we do have this uh, rating system based on attendance, which we call the withdrawal rate. So out of 70 ops um, or contracts or jobs that he's completed, essentially he's you know, probably only been in a position one time where he's unable to make it out to that and he had preemptively withdrawn notifying the business. Um, that was the case. Uh, so all in all, he's got a very solid background, 4.6 rating across all the businesses that he's worked at. So let's go ahead and take a look um, at his experience on the variable platform to see where he's been. So he's been out and he's done some work in recycling, um, Love Honey, which is mostly e-commerce, order pulling type stuff, Belmar Integrated Logistics, U.S. Foods, Tory Birch. He's got another page here, Landers, Uniform Advantage. So quite the extensive resume, um, digital resume of sorts. So you can, you can really have a good idea that this guy is probably going to show up and do a good job, um, be there on time, be safe, proficient, um, and, and all that good stuff. So... And we do have some additional areas that you can click into. Uh, these are listed skill sets of the operator. So warehousing, advanced, cross the board, assembly, advanced, forklift, uh, stand up, sit down, pick or fork, reach truck, um, all of that is there. Um, and based on his ratings and his performance with the other businesses, you're guaranteed um, that this operator, as I mentioned, is going to show up and be um, able to perform the tasks that are required in your operations. Um, so what I would do then is if I wanted to bring Brandon in, I would just clip on accept and that's it. Um, he'll be scheduled to go for the date of the op and will show up. And if he doesn't, we have a system where you can dispute him. Um, and if that's the case, operators that are disputed are suspended from our platform. Um, if he works more or less than the duration of the op, we have an adjust feature that allows you to go in there and adjust that as well. Um, so in a nutshell, Variable provides your business with real-time access to labor to maximize the amount of flexibility and help you navigate any issues that are coming around or coming up with the COVID-19 virus um, at its peak these days. So feel free to reach out 
um, to me or anybody on our team. Uh, my email is dlabosco at variableops.com. That's V-E-R-Y-A-B-L-E-O-P-S dot com. Um, we do have a market contact for us on our website. If you have any questions, you can call that number for the business support line and we'll go ahead and get you set up and answer any questions that you might have. Thank you very much.